Hey there, Aries. How are you? We're going to get started on your general tarot reading. This reading is good for right now, whenever that is. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is your tarot reading. Let's see. What is the most important thing that Aries needs to hear that, that they need to know right now? Let's see. Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in the sign of Aries. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for the sign of Aries right now? Let's we have chair empty someone is leaving your life who just got this i believe it was capricorn empty chair someone is leaving your life all right so somebody's leaving your job there's a position that is opening up and i mean this could be a romantic position as well if there is a romantic partner that is leaving your life okay this is just about uh, creating space and room guys and i feel like actually this is something quite positive someone is leaving your life this as well look it's a position i'm hearing a seat that you're going to be filling guys in somebody else's life too beautiful energy we have well the well spirit animal great worry over nothing <laughs> great what what you worried about nothing the well <sighs> Something is changing, something left your life. You're leaving something behind. Something's leaving you behind. But guess what? What you worried about it for? You And if you are worried, you're worried about nothing, guys. So what does it say? It's not that serious. Even if it may feel like it, this is actually something quite positive for you. Yes, it is. Empty chair and well, great worry over nothing. So that's the most important thing it is that you should know, guys. It's not even a big deal. Even if it may, may, even if it may seem like it is, guys, it's not a big deal. So don't worry about it. Don't stress. Don't fret over it, okay? This is only making room for you. It's making room for something better in your life, something that is much needed. Let's see what this is. Wishbone. A wish is granted. Get out. Ooh, may could be of significance. The parrot, spirit animal. Let's read that. Someone will gossip about, about all your secrets. Get out, guys. So may could be of significance. Be careful about uh, who it is that you talk to and what information it is that you share with others because there seems to be a very gossipy energy around you that could be disclosing i'm hearing some of your secrets or whatever it is that you said okay so be careful about that that's the most important thing that you should know knowing that a wish is going to be granted here i'm getting that for many of you this is a position at work or uh just something it is that you've sought okay and that is going to come through for you guys so there is wish fulfillment you see you worried about nothing. And then we have rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Get out. So the hardest part is over. Excuse me. What does that mean? It means it's only going to get easier from here on out. So that's very good news, guys. The worst part is over. Yes, your wish is going to come true. And uh, someone is leaving your life, guys. But I'm telling you, I feel like that's something good. It's just, whether it's good or bad, I mean, I mean no matter what it is, it's not something bad, guys. At the very least, it is an opportunity waiting to be filled here by you or someone else. All right, now let's continue with some Oracle cards. That's the most important thing it is that you should know, guys. Things are falling through for you. Things are only getting better. They're not getting worse. It's smooth sailing from here. You don't have to worry anymore. The month of May is of significance. And uh, well, as well, don't forget to be careful about who it is that you trust with uh, certain information, okay? 
because there is a gossipy energy. So keep things to yourself just to be safe, just to be sure, or just be careful about what it is that you share with others, guys. Especially if you don't want certain things to be getting out, okay? It says skull, endings. Yep, we saw that with the empty chair. Major changes in your life. I feel like this is an energy that you guys have been dealing with. Uh, maybe a transformative time in your life that uh, has uh, brought a whole lot of major changes, right? 1111 could be a significance. Um, and well, some of you like collecting certain, um, like I see somebody decorating their home and there's certain items there that mean, that are meaningful, <clears throat> skull and endings. There's changes guys know that these changes are meant to happen in your life. And again, they're meant to create space for things that you're ready for. Okay. And I, I think you're so ready for this too, guys. I feel like you're there. You're there. I feel like the most difficult part of the situation is over guys. The most difficult part has already passed. You've already been through it. So it's, it's these changes, these endings guys are just new beginnings. Now, beautiful energy. The number 29 could be of significance, peace and harmony. Knowing that there's peace in the present moment, knowing that everything in your life is going to start harmonizing with your wishes and your desires, I'm hearing, and, and your highest, uh, most abundant uh, reality possible. We have caution, traffic cone. I feel like this traffic cone is just bringing attention to this parrot energy here, which just says, you know, be careful. There's a need to slow down. Not, not in what it is that you're doing, but mostly I feel like maybe this is in your connections. Like there's caution there. Like just be careful, uh, about, um, I'm hearing, cause you know what? I feel like there's like, you find yourself in this transitional period guys. And, um, I'm hearing the less stress it is that you have the better. I mean, and you also don't want any bad juju, right? From anybody coming from anybody in, in regards to any, you know, new, new, uh, positive things coming into your life. Uh, but you know, I, I don't see any, anyone or anything affecting it, but, um, it's important to just, uh, be in harmony always. I'm here with your environment, with yourself and, and, and with others guys and be cautious, uh, perhaps this time around, especially on the road guys, uh, be just be alert because this could be talking about certain traffic stops as well L labyrinth and journey all right guys i feel like you've been in this labyrinth right you've been finding your way and i'm seeing someone there like it's been a while they've been trying to find their way I feel like you're still in there, right? Because I feel like the transition is still happening, but I see you being like really super close to that middle, to that place. Finally, I'm hearing, uh, reaching that destination. Do you know that the journey that you've been on is, is incredibly important guys And it, uh, it might have felt like it took you in circles left and right and might've left you feeling a little out of place. Um, I'm hearing, but do know that all that's going to change guys labyrinth abundance, Cory, Cowry, Cowry shells, resilience. I see you bouncing back. Some of you might really like this succulents, Cowry shells, abundance. Oh guys, I, I just see so many very positive things coming into your life, guys. I mean, anybody that talks bad about you or just, you know, this parrot, I feel like is just talking about certain people and things that do not serve you that I'm hearing they're not really resonating with you anymore. I'm hearing it's okay to let those things go. All right. I see you bouncing back with this resilience card. The number 38 is of significance, beautiful energy. Now let's continue. That's the most important thing it is that you should know right now, guys. Oof. Okay. This right here. What do you need to release? What do you need to release guys? 
We've seen it from the get-go with this empty chair, right? Someone is leaving your life. That's okay. That's all right, guys. That's a very good thing. I'm hearing it doesn't mean that a relationship here is destroyed for some of you. I mean, it's okay to just kind of, I'm hearing love people at a distance. We saw it with this ending card as well. What do you need to release? Knowing that at this time you find yourself going through a process of, I'm hearing re reju rejuvenation. Wanting moon, what do you need to release? Nothing is yet set in stone. I feel like this nothing is yet set in stone, guys. I mean, what you know what that is just saying, guys? I feel like there is a lot of space that is being created in your life at this time, and you're having to uh, support these changes and and uh, push this push this forward as well, guys. Clear things out in your life. I feel like the universe is saying we need your help a little bit. I'm hearing to stay away from certain things, to release and let go, to surrender. <clears throat> And nothing is set in stone is just saying, listen, you know, all these great things, all this abundance, right? That's coming, this journey that you've been on for a while that you're finally find yourself at a point where you um, are finishing this journey and stepping into, uh, I'm hearing a, a greater timeline. It's not yet fully set in stone only because the present moment, the transitions that are happening, um, I'm hearing they can be extended and they can be prolonged. Only I'm hearing if you hold on to these things, I'm hearing, but if you release, I'm hearing everything will be happening in divine timing for you and happening quite very, quite soon and quite quickly, guys. So support all the changes that are happening in your life. Release that which does not serve you. You know what that is. Anything that does not, that takes away your peace, that takes away your harmony, let that go, okay? All right, so now let's get some... Let's move on to the tarot, guys. Beautiful reading. I love it, guys. Let's clean this up very quickly. Where are you? Okay, you're right here. I'm going to be using this deck over here. It's called the Journey of the Sacred Bee. Bear with me, my dear Aries. Okay, you go here and you go here. All right. Show me Aries right now. Show me Aries. What is the most important thing message that my dear Aries needs to know and needs to hear right now? Let's see. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus in the sign of Aries. Let's see. Show me Aries right now. Show me Aries. What's going on with Aries? Here we go. It says King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm hearing for many of you, this could be the energy that you are to release. There's changes. And, you know, maybe it's not a particular person for many of you. It might be certain situations or certain dynamics within a relationship that you're being asked to let go of and release, guys. The King of Cups. Whew. This is quite a bunch of cards. Okay, one more card. Show me... King of Cups. I see somebody watching you guys very attentively because look, this this King of Cups here, the way that they look, they look they're, like they're paying attention to something and I feel like it's you. And then with this horse here, I feel like somebody is, um, this could be a Sagittarius for some of you. There's a wave, a windfall, a wave of emotion. We have the Magician. It's very important, guys, to stay emotionally balanced at this time in order to manifest. I'm hearing the reality it is that you want, especially so with this hair phone. Make time to meditate. That's the most important thing for you to know. Emotional balance, guys. Absolutely. That is significant. That's important there for you guys, which is why it's important. I'm hearing for you to release all those things that could potentially, um, you know, negatively impact any any of your plans or the things that you're trying to do taurus of significance the hair font the hair font is telling you to stay true to yourself is asking you what is important right now and to hold on to that to stay true and loyal to yourself, guys. That's the most important message. 
to create harmony and peace around you, within your home, within yourself, within your relationships, and to maintain that, guys, because it's very important because there's so many good things manifesting in your life right now, guys, because you're making all that room. I'm hearing, so keep working through this, keep letting go, keep releasing, and um, you will see your reality, I'm hearing every day start shifting and changing in the direction it is that it's supposed to take right now and in the direction that you want, guys. There's so many things that you're creating, guys. Speak up as well. You know, like I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at that, um, at that, I'm thinking about that. What is it? The parrot that we saw. So it's important as well to, to speak freely, guys. I'm hearing, but not to overshare. This doesn't mean to stay silent and to hold back and to, you know, hold yourself back so much that you're controlling and you, what you're saying so much so that you can't even speak out, you can't even be authentic. Like, no, like, I just feel like the message here is it's important for you to speak up, for you to share, but, uh, the focus is on, on what it is that you share. All right. That's significant. Interesting. That's you right now, guys. I feel like that's you. Like you just want peace. You, you don't want any disturbance. And it's true, guys. You don't want any disturbance right now, guys. What is the most important message, advice, advice for my dear Aries? What advice, what message do you have for them? We have the eight of wands, guys. You're moving fast, very quickly, guys. Very soon, I'm hearing within the next week or two, things are going to start moving and flying very quickly. I'm hearing to hold on for this ride. I see you as well with this King of Cups. I'm seeing that person there as you and then the horses there. It seems like they're waiting for something, right? So absolutely, guys, be patient right now. There's something manifesting around you. And uh, with this hair font, uh, th there's a Buddha here, right? When I think about the Buddha, I think about just standing still, being patient and having faith too. Knowing, especially with this magician, that you're creating something right now. It may not be the full picture, but it's getting there. And pretty soon, guys, things are going to be moving quite quickly. There's a message. There's communication. It is that you're going to receive. There might even be travel for some of you. So the eight of wands is the advice. Things are, the advice is guys, very soon within the next week or two, things are going to get moving and it's going to require you to be a little more involved. I'm hearing a, a little more involved in everyday life, however that resonates. We have the priestess. Oh, I love this card. You're going to be divinely guided, guys. It's important that uh, in the next few days and the next the next week that you listen to your inner guidance, that you 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 make time to connect with your spirit guides, because I feel like there's going to be a whole lot of communication and information that uh, you you're having to receive and welcome and take note of, guys, with this high priestess. Now, you know, with this high priestess, guys, she doesn't speak. So there is very important important that you keep things to yourself guys especially so with this devil here and it's a fly and when I think about a fly and then right now I'm seeing like a fly lay eggs like larvae on fruit you know or just food so it's it's about um limitations restrictions and some things that can be ruined absolutely guys there's the i feel like the the biggest message is release let go of what doesn't serve you serve the plants for many of you you know what that is already and uh keep certain things to yourself guys this time around careful about what it is that you share, especially about plants and things that are moving forward for you, because there is, there's pesky energies around you guys that can, I'm hearing just, could try to just dump, okay, uh, crap on, on whatever this is for you. That's the biggest message. Do you see that? The high priestess doesn't speak. No, okay, that if you need answers, uh, go within, ask your spirit guides, ask the universe, and you will be provided with answers, guys. 
that's only I'm hearing if, when, if you feel in doubt or you feel like you have to reach out to a certain person or I'm hearing no, 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 no. All the answers, everything it is that you need is within you. It's 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 being provided through you. Um, it's to you through your spirit guides. Move forward. Don't stop yourself. Things are going to be moving very swiftly, very soon, guys. Protect yourself by not oversharing however that resonates this is what i have for you my dear aries thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you as always truly it was an honor and my pleasure you guys take care okay bye bye